Suppose if the velocity of any object is in this direction and the force is also in the same direction then it will be an accelerated motion in the direction of force because when force is applied on this object then its velocity is increased and that will give you the accelerated motion as f is equal to ma and now suppose if the velocity initial velocity is in this direction but the force is acting opposite to it then its velocity will be decreased and it reduces the velocity it is retardation you can give an example that when you are cycling in one direction if the wind is also supporting you then your speed will be increased take the opposite case when you are cycling in one direction wind is opposing then automatically your velocity will be speed will be reduced now what happens when the velocity is in this direction but the force is acting perpendicular direction so in this case you have already studied that velocity is tangential direction and the force is in this direction in the case of circular motion so here the force is perpendicular to velocity now the according to the lorentz force we have studied that f is equal to q v cross b so here this f is perpendicular to v therefore it provides centripetal force so when any charged particle is thrown with a velocity or is projected with a velocity initial velocity v with an angle theta with the magnetic field direction then it moves in a circular path so lorentz force provides the centripetal force remember centripetal force is to be provided by any external agency in 11th class you would have studied why the planet revolves around the sun because the centripetal force is provided by the gravitational force of attraction between the sun and planet similarly why an electron revolves around the nucleus the centripetal force is being pro provided by the force of attraction between the positive charge in the nucleus and the electron similarly tension when you rotate a stone which is tied to the end of a thread and if you rotate it the tension provides the centripetal force similarly suppose if you take a gravity rail then if you move any object it comes down it moves along the path and this is called gravity rail and here the normal reaction will provide the centripetal force so centripetal force must be provided by one of the external agencies friction will provide the centripetal force gravitational force of attraction lorentz force then electrostatic force of attraction and tension in the string and normal reaction these are the external agencies of centripetal force now we understood that if any object any charged particle is projected with an angle theta with an initial velocity v then it moves in a circular path then what should be the radius of that path it's very easy to write this qvb sin theta is providing the, the centripetal force the right side i have written the formula for centripetal force so this v i can cancel it out 
and I can write the expression m v by q b sine theta. Now let us suppose if the force is maximum. Force is maximum just now we have studied it is at 90 degrees. Therefore when theta is equal to 90 r is equal to m v by q b. Now if any object moves in a circular path with a speed uniform speed then it takes t to cover one full circle then I can write the value of t as 2 pi r that is the total distance covered by the speed of it. So I can replace this v by 2 pi r by t. So r is equal to m 2 pi r by capital T and this q b I have written here. So this r is cancelled therefore t is equal to 2 pi m by q b. So this is the time period. Now if you know the time period we can write the frequency as it is reciprocal of time period which is equal to qb by 2 pi m. Now if you want to write the angular frequency omega is equal to 2 pi by t or 2 pi f which is equal to 2 pi qb by 2 pi m. This 2 pi 2 pi will be cancelled and q b by m is the value of angular frequency. This is frequency, this is time period and this is angular frequency.